when people get exposed to the seriousness of pro-licensing threats, people will have no self-worth permanently and no self-confidence permanently and no self-esteem permanently because licensors have rights to bully people by permanently denying permission slash permissions on purpose or by controlling the licensees' wills to exhaustion on purpose according to the terms of the licensors. What kind of examples are we to our children when we tell children to respect hopelessness by denying permission or by bullying by terms of licensing. I compare pro-licensing threats slash actions to critical race theory and licensing is responsible for destroying mental health of each person of all ages in every area of life. Regardless of how law-abiding that person A is, person A may receive negative consequences, aka whammies, and it happened to some people in reality. Seriously. People and juveniles do not ask for any type of permission from any licensor because licensors are rip-off artists and negative influences. Licensors disgust me. How can licensors be prosperous with their legal bullying? Licensors sit on their thrones of lies. Licensors smell like jerk Tonia. We are tired that licensing comes first before everything else. The prefix per from the word permission means before, so it means before mission. And I think of the permission phase is like the luck phase in life to be a somebody or to be a nobody. And who has the rights to control people in society. I want you to do the same actions like the founding people of the United States of America did. I encourage people to refuse to live under the rule of licensing of licensors and of governments, including U.S. governments. Life would be better if pro-licensing laws, licenses, licensors, and governments do not exist because those are the true bullies of society. Take a stand against ridiculous mandates of ridiculous licensing. Licensing is deadly. With licensing, economies and societies will not flow efficiently. Why cannot we get the best of 
multiple worlds.